Before getting started with the VCO plugin SDK, ensure that both Java and Eclipse are installed on a Windows machine, and that the VLog Browser plugin is installed on Eclipse. In some cases, an HTTP proxy port may need to be configured inside Eclipse prior to installing new software. Note that in this demo, we are installing the VCO plugin SDK on the same host that the VCO server is running, but this is not a requirement. The VCO plugin SDK can be installed on a different Windows host if preferred. To install the SDK, go to Help and select Install New Software. Click the Add button to add the SDK update site. Choose a name for the repository location and then click Archive. Navigate to the downloaded.zip file for the VCO plugin SDK and click Open, and then click OK. Click the checkbox next to VMware Workbench vCenter Orchestrator Starter Kit to select all required components, and then click Next to continue. Review the installation details, and then click Next. Review the end user license agreement for the components being installed. Select I accept the terms of the license agreement, and then click Finish to begin the installation. Restart Eclipse for the new installation to take effect. Now that the starter kit is installed, we can create a new project. Right-click in the Project Explorer, select New VMware Project File, and then select Development Kit Projects. Expand the vCenter Orchestrator Plugin Development option. Here, expand a category and select a desired project type. For this demo, we'll choose a Solar System Plugin REST project example. After making a selection, click Next. Choose a name for the project, and click Finish to complete the project creation. The project will automatically begin to build. This sample project builds without errors, and the .dar file can be found in the dist directory. Next, we'll create a REST service example project in the same manner as before. Though, since this project depends on the Tomcat 6.0 server, the server must first be installed for the project to build successfully. First, open the server's view by going to Window, selecting Show View, and selecting Other. Expand the Server option and click Servers to open the view. Right-click in the panel and select New, then select Server. Navigate to and select the Tomcat v6.0 server, and click Next. If the server has yet to be installed, click Download and Install. Otherwise, click Browse to locate the required file on your local system. Review and agree to the End User License Agreement, and click Finish. Choose the location to download and install the server. Also, ensure that the JRE is set to be the Workbench default JRE. Click Finish to complete the configuration. The Tomcat server is now listed in the Servers panel. Now we can create a REST service example project. And with the proper Tomcat server installed, the automatic build will complete successfully.